y'all. Back with another view. And today, we got another pickup for my Disney 65th anniversary line. This was the pop we were thinking was going to come out in December, but it ended up dropping a lot sooner at Target Physical Store. So, without further ado, let's hop right into this review because today we're checking out Pop Rides number 88. We got Matterhorn Bobsled Attraction and Donald Duck, which is really cool because they already dropped one of these with Mickey on it. Um, and this is a, a technically, I guess, a pop ride, if you would. Um, which is why I'm surprised the Millennium Falcon wasn't technically a pop ride because this one is attached to, as you can see, the ground here, and you're going to see here in a moment. Uh, it's not actually just the the ride itself. So, like, it's not just the Falcon itself. Why wasn't it pop ride? I don't know. Anyway, here is the wave right here, which you can see they added the Matterhorn bobsled on the side here. Normally, they'll just show you the the five wave pop or the pop the five pops from the wave. And this is the Matterhorn bobsled, Mickey Donald. We already showed you that one. We showed Donald in the Casey Jr train car mr toad they got peter pan captain hook and there's a, an array of other ones we actually did the uh, castle as well on this channel the pop town if you would um so that was pretty neat and this is the matterhorn ride bobsled donald now I, like i said they did do one of these with um mickey already they also did one with him in the uh the little car thing the little red car in the Matterhorn. Let me check this Check this out, though. This one's going to be neat. This is number 50,377. Disneyland 65th Donald in Matterhorn Pop Ride. And again, we have that background of the matte finish with the firework explosions in that. You can kind of tell it's got that Disney stylized nature to it. So, like I said, um, being a fan of some Disney characters, specifically Scrooge and McDuck, Donald Duck, most of the ducks from Duckburg. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's neat to pick up some of these pops and have access to some of these. And this is a really, really cool rendition of this. I mean, you can see right there, the bobsled itself looks amazing. I mean, check out this. This is like a, uh, it's, not, it's not a sticker, but it's a printed on decal. I don't know if that makes sense in the description, but it's not something like, um, when you got like the 10 inch joker and he has the card in his hand the card is a sticker because they, they didn't want to paint the finite details of it but in the way this is stylized on the front of this matterhorn pop i feel like they could have probably at this point stylized that card because they stylized this with paint some kind of a paint application look at the detailed nature of that pretty wild on that and look at donald ready to go down 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 the mountain check that out you can even see the part right there where it curves down which is like whoop, that's when it all kicks off isn't it so it's got the empty car in the back. Not sure of that uh, symbol, symbolism, but it would have been neat if you could maybe added characters to it. But I guess it'd have to be seated in this fashion to be in there. Um, that would have been kind of neat where you can kind of do like uh, the photo opportunity by adding another pop in the back here with the, the pop already. But it would kind of change the stylized nature of the bobsled itself and it wouldn't look fit, true to form, I guess you would. But this is a really cool pop ride. So I definitely like this one. I dig it. Again, it makes me still wonder why the Millennium Falcon wasn't technically a pop ride. Uh, and after seeing this one, which is technically a pop ride, and it's uh, attached to some kind of a ground piece, which is like the Millennium Falcon's attached to the Death Star. Uh, it just makes you wonder, doesn't it? But anyway, this is Matterhorn Ride with Donald Duck, which is really cool. Again, another duck for the duck, the Duckburg waves that we got collected right there. He looks pretty cool. He looks excited. He looks ready to go. Again, the paint application on the front of that bobsled is superb. That is definitely the first one that I have seen to that high, cal high caliber quality uh, on one of the Funko products. Usually it's a sticker or something if they do some kind of finite detail like that. So seeing that, that detailed is pretty sweet, especially for the future and the, you know, the future nature of the art, art and stylized form of these pops and, and pop rides and pop deluxes and pop towns and everything else that Funko is doing. So pretty cool on them. They're making some really great products. Again, this is Matterhorn Ride with Donald riding the bobsled. So just let me know down in the comments below what you think of this particular pop ride. What do you think of the Millennium Falcon not being a pop ride? I know I keep going on about that, but why don't you let me know down in the comments below what you think of this pop ride? Did you collect the 65th anniversary? Um, is this something that you collect maybe a few pieces from this or you collect the whole wave? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, subscribe for more because I do reviews every single day. Just looking for that. Have a great rest of your day.